Good evening folks, Miami Beach Odd is here and before we start this premiere I'm going to give you a little update while we're giving people a chance to get in here. Well, if you look at me, this close up of the wall of the post office here, I'm shooting it from across the street zoomed, you will see that the no trespassing signs have been removed from the outer wall of the post office. And there's no no trespassing sign anywhere on the post office property, except for the restricted area by the loading dock. And the trespassing, no trespassing sign has been removed from the bus shelter. And I've noticed that they've been removed from quite a few other bus stops and shelters throughout South Beach. And I can't help but think that this is a direct result of the complaints that were received after Lomoka trespassed me from the public area outside the post office. I thank everybody who complained about it. Because all of you acting together in a few days achieved more than I've been able to in years acting alone. Helping to keep public areas in Miami Beach public. Well, G4S is making it pretty obvious. They're following me around every place I go and they don't care if I see it. They're actually responding and denying it when I'm talking to them instead of just walking away as soon as I start filming. I went over to film the post office and the bus bench to show that the trespassing signs had been removed. When I stood on the corner, diagonally across the street from the post office, a guy in a black hat, black backpack, black t-shirt, came over and stood right over my left shoulder and started looking at what I'm doing with my phone. So I didn't start filming, I turned around and I said something to him about why are you so interested in my phone and he took off. Didn't take five seconds until there was another one there, doing exactly the same thing. I didn't say anything to him, I walked across the street. Started trying to line up the shot and there was another one on the other side of the street there. Standing right over my shoulder, trying to look at what I'm doing with my phone. Wearing a black baseball cap, a black hat, and carrying a backpack. So I finally got it shot before the stakeout that eventually turned up, finally turned up after about a minute and a half. And I come walking down the street and sit down to try and edit the video and upload it. And this happened. What's up is every time I stop somewhere, I got some guy in a black shirt come over and stand right next to me. This is the fourth time it's happened in the last 20 minutes. I move down and stand on the corner and some guy in a black shirt and a black baseball cap carrying a backpack stands over there next to me in the doorway. Yeah. So I come over here and, and you come over here and you start, you're wearing a black shirt, black hat, black baseball cap, and you come over and you stand right next to me. No, now you're the fourth one in 20 minutes. Who are you working for and why are you doing it? This, this, is, a, this is a public area so you can't stop from a side of the side or whatever. It's a public, it's like a private property. I know it's a public it's a sidewalk. Public black, a black person specified. I, mean, it's about... I didn't mention a race, I just said what they were wearing. Okay. Okay. They're all dressed the same. Okay, bro, bro, I'm the guy you saw the first time. Right, me? No. Yeah. Well, no, these, these were four different people. Oh, well, I don't know, man. They're probably protecting you, man. You never know. Yeah. Well, I'm, tell G4S I'm going to file a stalking complaint. Huh? Well, without any further ado, let's get you to the cop watch video. I had to split this video into two parts so you get a second premiere after the first one is over. It was over an hour of raw footage and I sped up the parts where nothing was happening and cut some parts out. I'm sitting here watching videos and all of a sudden all these cops come up with sirens. This van's been parked there. The guy came and got in. When he opened the door to get in, five cop cars come flying up with the sirens on. And they grabbed him. And now they're searching the vehicle. Well, my phone is not in the gimbal. That's why it looks so shaky. I'm going to try and get it in the gimbal while I'm filming here.
once I get the phone in the gimbal, I'll be able to walk a little bit closer. Right now it looks a little bit blurry because it's zoomed to about 6x. Kind of blurs and goes out of focus. They were evidently watching this van, waiting for its owner to return and open it up so they could grab them. That's all I can tell you at the moment. Female cop now going up to the side of it. That guy was in the van. And they just took him out of there. They've got the driver in custody in the police car already. Just talking on the median divider there. I'm on the sidewalk right opposite the van. You can even see inside it. But I think they're done with whatever they were doing with it. Too far. 
This camera shake is too much. An inch equals a mile. Let me zoom that far. But now you can't really see what the cops are doing because I'm too far out. Oh, they've got the whole street blocked off, you see. And the moving traffic lane and the bicycle lane and the parking lane. Uh, see, maybe I can get some numbers off the cars. We've got 19002 can't see that far without glasses. See if the zoom will handle it. 29002. Five zero four three. side of the van so the van was blocking my view. Coming up on YouTube's 15 minute time limit for the video, so I'm gonna have to cut it here and uh, put the rest of it in part two. So stay tuned for that. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. This is Miami Beach Audits. I'll see you in part two.